So we've seen that we can easily implement a Boolean expression uh, using OR and 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 NOT gates. We did this uh, for the following example, but now we want to take a quick look at uh, whether it's possible to simplify this expression so that the implementation requires fewer gates. So um, let's play around with this uh, expression here. Now we notice that we have a B bar and we have a B here. And uh, the, the A and B are present in both those terms. So we can factor out an A, C, sorry, did I say B, A, C, and then we'll have B bar plus B. And of course, that's going to either be 1 and 0 or 0 and 1, depending on whether B is false or true. So this will always be true. So this expression now reduces to AC. Now let's distribute the terms here. We'll have C D bar plus C E plus D D bar plus D E. Now this will always be false because neither um, the two of them will never be true at the same time. And we notice that we have uh, C, we have C, we have C here. So let's go and rewrite this one last time. We'll have A plus D bar plus E all times C plus D E. And let's see, yep, that is what we have here. And so now when we implement that using AND, OR, and NOT gates again, we see that we only require um, four gates, five gates, instead of, what was it, um, uh, five, eight gates. So this kind of gives us uh, the, 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 the sense that uh, the initial implementation of a Boolean expression is, in general, not going to be a minimal one. And so we'd like to have a, a more uh, developed and formal technique for finding a minimization of an expression. And it seems kind of ad hoc now. So uh, this is what we'll do in a future lesson. We will, we will eventually look at using what's called a Carnot map to help us um, systematically find the uh, a minimum realization for a Boolean expression.